to urge more to Akoa saga we have another video of Roman Karnukov the guy who built in Kazakhstan free energy device and he's sharing some of the information right now with us so I'm gonna translate the video for you guys так, продолжаем. Просили, как обойтись. Но опять-таки же, это всего лишь ориентир будет. And we're gonna explain a little bit more, but that would be only approximate procedure that I'm gonna explain. Находим нашу частоту бифа. We have to find our frequency of bifilar. And he showed you the finger where the bifilar is. Вот она. And this is what you вот see. 55.03 kHz. And that's the resonance of the bifilar by itself. Приемный. From the receiving coil. Запоминаем ее. We're gonna memorize that a drawing the display вот. Красная, the red one is the frequency of the bifilar the receiving coil we're going to see what we have on the spectrum analyzer. It is showing 165.5 kilohertz. We changed the generator to sinus. And we're going to tune exactly to the frequency. 165.5 kilohertz. That's the frequency. Almost there. And we look at the oscilloscope. And we're gonna memorize that frequency as well. And now you will see a two channels all together. And that's ideal synchronization that you could achieve. The red one is the sinus of the output Bifilar. And the one in the middle is the Tesla resonance. And this from transmitting coil. Now, I'm trying to be as accurate in the translation as he says. So if you get confused with his explanation, I can't help you. When you start to tune, you will see that it is flowing left to right. It is not holding as you see on a picture. Because right now the screen is frozen. So you see the ideal frozen synchronization. So you're gonna see see, see the high sinusoid flowing left and right. The most important is the time interval, and he was pointed at times inter intervals with his fingers. I'm gonna go to that back so you could see that again. One more time. 
Вот это самые главные моменты времени. Вот этот, вот этот, вот этот, соответственно, и вот этот. Но самое главное, чтобы совпадал вот это, то вот это пересечение. And the most important is that what he points in this area here between this and that the cross crossing of two sinusoids so if I understand what he says is this along with that so we have a one-to-one -one coverage but let's see what he says more and uh, that point in here has to be exactly in line with that top of the sinusoid. When you will see the fluctuation of that peak, the be left, right, we see that the amplitude of that sinusoid will go down and up. А если вот эти точки не будут совмещаться, то совершенно ничего работать не будет. And if you will not have a synchronization of those points, nothing would work. Но опять же повторюсь, в реальной... I'm gonna repeat again that what he says. Работе это все плывет. Даже период от периода меняет свои частоты. In practice everything is gonna be uh, fluctuating. Okay, it was a very short video, and I was trying to keep as much as I could to his original translation. Be honest, I'm a little bit lost with it. Uh, I have had a chance to talk to him a few days ago, and uh, Akua uh, stated that. Uh, He's step by step trying to explain as much as he thinks he can. And of course, it's up to his willingness to explain that. Uh, I cannot really go to the details of our conversation as I really want to keep a relationship with Akua pretty close so uh, guys just wait hopefully he would be able till the end of the year show you the working device with a complete manual how to do it that's all guys this is Wesley WSLEY channel Steve one STI VEP at YouTube. Cheers.